Hi guys, Kate Wilson here with Ozark Fishing. Uh, today we are going to talk about duck hunting, specifically duck hunting on a budget, because let's face it, duck hunting is not a cheap hobby. So, if you are like me and you want to be doing this on a budget, then uh, keep watching. If not, if you want to go buy the biggest, best, newest of everything, you're lucky. Go, go do that and quit watching me. But, budget time. Um, you don't need the newest and best of everything awesome to have but you definitely don't need it to go out and have a successful duck hunt um i started duck hunting i think in high school um my family took me hunting a lot you know deer turkey pheasant quail all that stuff but i had never been duck hunting before um there's some good public land to duck hunt around where i live so it was something that i could go do um every weekend instead of just waiting to get enough time off to go pheasant hunting or something like that. So, um, high school, actually I think it was college. I think I was in college. So picture a broke college student wanting to get into duck hunting. I didn't have any gear. The only thing I had was a shotgun, which brings me to my first point. You do not need a fancy semi-auto Beretta or Benelli or whatever it is, whatever your gun brand is that you like. I started duck hunting with this 20 gauge Remington 870. Um, it was a gun I had sitting in home and I've, I duck hunted with it for a long time. I've honestly probably gotten more ducks with this gun than any other gun I own. So um, do not think that you have to go get something that is just decked out camo or a 12 gauge or any other thing that you might be thinking like, oh, my gun's not good enough. It's probably fine. I love this gun. I never shoot it anymore, but uh, this gun's been dunked underwater out duck hunting. It, it's a great little gun. You don't need something super fancy. If it shoots, you're gonna be fine. All right, so the gun I already had at home, that was pretty much it. I had some camo. I had camo, but I didn't have any waterfowl camo. And I don't think I even had any matching camo. So I've got that little gun, mismatch camo. That's, that's, that's another point I want to make. You do not have to go out and buy a bunch of Sitka brand um, matching camo or just matching camo in general. You don't even necessarily need waterfowl camo. When you go out and scout, take a look at your surroundings, figure out what color is going to be best for you to wear. Wear some camo, wear some brown, dark green clothes or some tan clothes depending on where you're hunting okay it's you you have to be hidden because ducks have good eyesight you don't want them to see you but having matching camo will not be the end of the world okay so you've got just cheap gun blend in doesn't really matter if you have matching camo or not the next thing decoys this is where it gets expensive and you kind of have to get lucky so I did get lucky. I spent a lot of time on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. I got a dozen decoys for like 20 bucks. Super sketchy. Went to like this old guy's warehouse. It was not a good situation. I took a friend though, don't worry. Anyway, ended up with a dozen decoys um, for like 20 bucks. Got super lucky. Now, they were old. They didn't have any rigging on them, so they didn't have any weights. And... Weights are not that expensive, but I was eating or buying weights at the time. So um, I actually went downstairs and got some of those like cars that kids play with, you know, little toy cars and some yarn. That's what I used for weights. So when I say I was duck hunting on a budget, I am not kidding. All right. So I've got these decoys. They are really, they're not pretty. They're not pretty. But I had great hunts. So work with what you got, but just make sure they don't have holes in them. You know, they haven't been shot. They're not going to take on water. You're good to go. Okay. Start out with a dozen decoys. Decoys are super expensive. If you go buy them new, if you find a great deal, fantastic, go for it. Otherwise you're going to be spending some money. So just start out with a dozen. Um, a lot of people use spinners, mojos, wh whatever you want to call them, jerk rigs, um, all kinds of things. Cars keep going by. I'm getting distracted. Um, those things, you, you don't need them. They're so helpful. Um, jerk rigs when the wind 
the, when there's no wind, it gives some life to your to your spread and spinners. Early season, I use them pretty much every hunt. Late season, not so much. Um, the ducks kind of figure it out and know that you're not real when they see the spinners late season, at least around here. But anyway, you don't need those things. Those are things to put on your wish list. Um, but just start out with a dozen decoys and you you be good to go. All right, so while I'm talking about decoys, I told you my funny little story. That is a true story about how I took yarn and tied cars to the bottom of my decoys because, I don't know, weights are like 30 bucks and I didn't want to pay for them, so I used what I had. With decoys, um, you've got the decoys, you've got the weights. Make sure your decoys float if you buy used ones. Um, a lot of people use decoy bags and there's lots and lots of different kinds of bags. I started out with just like a giant mesh bag that had two shoulder straps. So I'd wear it like a backpack and have a dozen decoys um, on, my, on my back. That's great if that's what you wanna do. They're kind of a pain to be pulling in and out of the bag. So a lot of people use the slotted bags where each decoy or every two decoys has its own um, little slot and it keeps your decoys a lot nicer. That's awesome, but I don't have anywhere that I can just drive up to and, you know, like unload the truck or anything like that. And a lot of times if I'm hunting, I mean, a lot of times I go hunting with my friends, but if I'm hunting by myself, I don't want to carry a slotted decoy bag, my blind bag, my gun, my blind and everything else. So what I've started doing, if I'm just taking a dozen decoys for myself, now if I've got friends with me, load them down like pack mules. But if I'm going out by myself, I just take my uh, my decoys and I've got like a little carabiner hook with all the decoys on them, throw them over my shoulder. And then on my waders, it has a little clip right here. Just clip it right there, leave it on your shoulder and the decoys are behind you. Now, don't do that if you show up late because it's a little noisy. So if you're hunting public land and you show up like right at first light and you're making a bunch of noise walking through the marsh or the woods or whatever, did people aren't gonna like that but if you show up early enough and you're not gonna bother anybody then that's an okay thing to do but just keep in mind that 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 does get kind of noisy but my point is a blind bag is not super essential okay um, they can get kind of expensive if you get decoys and they come with a blind bag that's awesome if not it's really not a huge deal all right so we talked about your gun we talked a little bit about clothing we're going to come back to that in just a second and we talked about decoys um and decoy bags the next thing i want to talk about are duck calls so a lot of people think oh i need to go buy this you know 100 150 dollar duck call so that it sounds better so that the ducks whatever so i call them in better does it help maybe I don't know, I have yet to spend $150 on a duck call. Um, when I started out, I think this was my first duck call. It's like 25 bucks, um, 30 bucks. I get a lot of ducks. Uh, my neighbor's driving by, gotta wave. Okay, I'm back. My neighbor dropped off some produce from his garden. Super nice guy. So anyway, we were talking about duck calls. And I was basically telling you guys that $20, $30 duck calls, they get the job done. Um, your biggest thing there is just going to be practicing your calls. Making sure you know what calls to make when and making sure they sound good. $30 call, don't overspend on that. Alright, so we've talked about the gun. If it shoots, you're probably good to go. Shotgun. Um, we've talked about decoys, decoy bags, um, which... Start out with a dozen decoys, be good to go. Move up from there when you're ready. Um, we talked about duck calls, don't spend too much money on one. Now we were talking about camo. You do not have to wear matching camo, just make sure that you are going to be hidden and you should be good to go. Now, everything I've told you so far has been, uh, don't spend too much money, don't spend too much money, you don't need the biggest and best of everything. I truly believe that. I duck hunted on a budget for a very long time, and I had some pretty successful hunts, so I speak with experience in saying just work with what you got, okay? All right, so even though you don't need matching camo, you are going to want to be warm. I promise you that on those mid-season days where it's just, whoo, cold, wear what's warm so 
most duck hunters wear waders. If you don't have waders and you don't have the money to go buy waders, that is okay. And you may be thinking, oh, well, if I don't have waders, then what am I supposed to do about my decoys? Well, I didn't have waders when I started either. So I took a fishing pole with me. I throw my decoys out. And then it, when I got a duck or when I was leaving and I needed to reel my, duck, my decoys in, I just cast it out. I put a big hook. This is not the kind of hook I had on there. This is, But I had a big old, kind of like a, a spoonbill snagging hook, a big treble hook on there. And I'd cast out. It may take you a couple times, but you get pretty good at it when you've got a dozen decoys or when you're shooting ducks. You don't actually have to have waders, but they are very helpful. All right, so you don't have to have waders. They are helpful. Now, if you do want to go um, purchase waders, my recommendation to you is you get a good pair. That's, that's going to be one of the only things that I'm not going to be like, oh, you found your dad's old waders in the garage. Great, go use them. I mean, if you need to, great. Just make sure that they don't have any holes and make sure that they are going to be warm enough for you where you live. I live in Kansas, so I hunt Kansas, Missouri, typically. Um, and it gets really cold here in the winter. So I started out with these waders. My mom bought them for me for Christmas while I was in college. I don't know if you could see this, but they just have 200 grams insulate in them. Not warm enough. They are great fishing waders. Not what I would recommend for duck hunting if you are somewhere where it's cold at all. I've upgraded to the Cabela's brand. I think these cost me like... I don't know, 250 bucks, but they're 1200 grams insulate. They keep me so much warmer, my feet especially. And if you're sitting out there in a duck blind, you do not want your feet to get cold. Hate that. Um, if you do decide to get waders, again, you don't need them. If you've got thick socks, a good pair of boots, roll with that. But if you do decide you want waders, don't skip on skimp on that. You don't want to get a hole. If you're walking, if you have your waders on and you're walking through brush, you don't want uh, some cheap waders that are going to get a hole poked through them real quick and you definitely don't want to be sitting in the duck blind cold. Now speaking of sitting in the duck blind cold, I've got one more thing I want to show you. Waiter gloves. So I have regular, sometimes I don't put gloves on but you know sometimes you get cold and you need gloves. So um, I have a pair of regular gloves that you can pull the trigger a little easier. Um, these are my waiter gloves. Actually, this is my old pair. I have some camo ones now. I don't know where they are. But um, they're completely waterproof. These are lifesavers when you have been sitting in the duck blind for hours and you are to the point that you are just frozen. Your hot hands don't work anymore. You are just cold and it's time to leave and you got to go pick those decoys up. You really don't want your hands getting wet. You don't want to take your gloves off because then your hands are just going to be even colder. So you've got these. Completely waterproof. You can still move in them. They're not exactly the warmest, but they are a huge help when it comes to set, uh, packing up the decoys. Highly recommend. They are not that expensive. These are like 25 bucks. If there was one thing that you were going to make as like a, a for you purchase, a, a little gift for yourself for duck hunting, definitely on the list. Okay, the very last thing I want to talk about is a blind. Now, there is all kinds of different blinds. You've got layout blinds, A-frame blinds. You've got the little half A-frames. You've got just little pop-up ones that kind of stick in the ground. Um, all kinds of stuff. Love it. I bought an A-frame last year. Love hunting with it. Um, I've got a couple other smaller blinds. They're great, but you don't have to go spend the money on one. If you're like, oh, everybody uses an A-frame, I gotta go get an A-frame. They're like, 300 bucks at the cheapest. It's okay, don't worry about it. Go make a makeshift blind on public land. I did that for many, many years, and trust me, you get good at it, you, you brush it all in, you're just as hidden as an A-frame. It just takes a lot of work. Honestly, for me, I love going out onto public land. You get there extra early in the morning, and then you're going, you're chopping stuff down you're setting up your blind it's half the fun for me I really do like making my own blind because then you're sitting there waiting on the sun to rise and you're like yeah 
I made this. Like, it's just cool. So uh, don't feel like you need to go out and purchase a blind. You can definitely uh, make your own, and I could do a video on that too. That would be pretty fun uh, for me. Uh, anyway, um, I'll do a video on that, making a makeshift blind on public land. Now, the only thing to keep in mind with that is if you go out and make a makeshift blind on public land, somebody else is going to hunt in it. So just expect that. All right, guys, so that's that's what I have for duck hunting on a budget. Go get you a cheap gun. Wear some clothes that you're not going to be seen in. Um, waiters, if you want them, don't skimp on them. Get you a $30 duck call. Get some used decoys. Use what you can for weights. Um, if you get waiters, great. If not, take a fishing pole with you. I promise it works just fine. Um, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, um, please like, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop a comment down below for things you want to see, questions um, about this video or duck hunting in general. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, thanks for watching, guys.